Okay, guys. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, I'm up. Hey. Um, sorry for that moment. I had to figure out my new microphone, and hopefully you can hear me very well. Um, we're going to get started. We're going to make a little, a little drink. This is just some Kool-Aid, because that's what I got. And that's what I'm going to use in a jar. A um, little bit of water. Um, we're going to add to that, we got a little orange juice, my normal little, my normal little mix, okay? So let's, let's see, and let's make sure that we're up over here. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to pour some, this is, this is pineapple juice. I didn't shake it up. A little pineapple. A little orange. And then we got some, uh, Cardia bar. Okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. Ooh, that was a lot. Let's try to shake this up without making a mess because I don't have the screw lid. Oh, you gotta taste it. See where we at. Get a couple of glasses, fill them up. I put a little ice in the bottom. Hopefully you guys can hear me well. Go ahead and, I knew one was gonna fall out as soon as I moved the cup. Let's taste it. Ooh, that's strong. Yes, <laughs> Ooh, that's strong. I need some, something, hold on. Mm. It's not that bad. It's gonna get me lit though. Put it out. Hey, put that on there. Put that out the way. Okay. I keep thinking that I have a cord on me. And so I'll be nervous to walk away. <laughs> okay. I feel like I need to make a simple syrup or something to make it a little sweeter. Huh? Um, let's turn my phone off. Okay, and I think I got a little, this is punch mix. So let's use some of the punch mix, cause that should be strong. And that should, yeah, we're gonna use the punch mix, honey. Uh, <laughs> y'all, how y'all been doing? I feel like I miss y'all. <laughs> I feel like I miss y'all. I gotta, I gotta make sure this is syrupy first before I um, put it in there. Cause the goal, this is, you are loud, honey. The goal is to, y'all ain't turn no bulbs off. I ain't switch nothing over. I was just excited to get on here. I need some more, I need some more sugar. Hold on.
I know y'all gonna be like, what? So your base of your base of punch is always like super strong. So this is a punch, and I'm just trying to make that stronger. So when I put it in there, just sweeten it up. I don't like a simple syrup, but with more flavor. Yeah, why not use punch? I mean, y'all mix y'all drinks with everything else, right? Oh, and we got something over on the side. Sorry for the scraping. How y'all been doing? Y'all, how was y'all's Halloween? Okay, did you have a good Halloween? Did you have a party? I'm just trying to dissolve that cold sugar into this cold, because my I keep my sugar in the refrigerator. Cold sugar into this cold punch right now. Okay, all right, that's what I was waiting for. Okay. Ooh, yeah, we're getting there. We also got a little pino colada mix. So we're gonna put a little bit of that in there. Ooh, glory. Ooh. Oh shit, thick now. We gotta finish getting this sugar. <laughs> sugar dissolved. And then we'll put a a ladle full of that in there. And then we'll get the cooking. Okay. A ladle or two. Let's see what that does. Make a mess with this this syrup here. Hold the pins hard. I'm gonna shake it up one more time. Oh, don't make a mess. Don't make a mess. We did it the first time. I don't got the I don't got the screw part. Oh, I felt it move. Jesus. Oh, Let's try it. Mm. Okay. Let's deliver to the lady behind the curtain, honey. Please hold. Okay, here you go, little lady. Here you go. You're welcome. All right, guys. Now we can put this away. I normally drink right out the jar, but why not? Might be a little strong, honey. I don't know. Yes, sir. Okay, let's get started because we got some things to do. And I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a polite, polite jumbo. Um, gumbo, not jumbo. Where's my brain at? Um, gumbo because I'm not from New Orleans um, and I know this is supposed to to stew for a long time hours but we ain't got time for that so we just gonna get her done and then we're gonna let it continue to cook while we tasting and eating for it right now that's what we gonna do okay mm-hmm Take this opportunity to go ahead and like and share this video right now while we put our foil down on our counter. Again, you just want to dampen your space. I'm going to turn this around so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, let me make sure that we... Oh, why is nothing working today, y'all? Y'all, I set everything up before I left. And now everything's acting 
crazy. Crazy. There we go. Hello. Yes, honey. Okay. Oh, we got to do the adjustment. See? See, look at the devil. Look at that devil. Where is it? Where is it? Please hold. Okay, this is live, honey. Hey. Just know that. Know it. Okay, done, done, and done. We're a little, we a little, a little dull over here. Hold on. Let me, um, let me correct. Okay, we're gonna get there. We're gonna start cooking in like 2.5 seconds. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna do it that. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we got our little counter moment right here. And we're dampening the counter. Okay. Then we got a little fall. We're gonna lay that on the dampened counter. Okay. Give it a little wiggle into place. All right. And then you're gonna take your little sponge or your cleaning apparatus or your dishcloth or whatever you wanna call it. Call it. You're gonna wipe that down. Okay, boom, bam, and pound. Get the bubble out of there. Okay, boom. So, the first thing we need to do is peel these lovely shrimp. Okay, I got some already de-veined. That's that little thing back there, de-veined. Um, and I got my little bucket over here. Boom, boom, boom. All you're going to do to make this real easy, real quick, come on down a little bit is you're gonna squeeze, pinch the tail, and then grab the legs, it's gonna pop out, okay? And you throw that part away, and then you lay your, your shrimp down. Okay, again, pinch and grab the legs. And you will make quick work of peeling these shrimp, okay? So let's do that real quick. And then we got to get we got to get cracking because this is a supposed gumbo. So we got to make the roux. Brown it up. We got to cut up our vegetables and all that stuff. So we want to do the prep work before you make the roux because once the roux is going, you got to focus and you got to get her done. Okay, so whenever I hear gumbo, I think of Mama Odie. <laughs> gumbo, gumbo in the pot. <laughs> All right. Sometimes they got that little trail in there. You might need to pinch it a little bit, get the rest of it out of there. And that's fine. Keep on going until you finish, okay? Got my little space music going. Real easy, real fun, okay? Sometimes it, it don't want to do it easy. You might have to, you know, just finagle a little bit. But again, just pinch the tail, grab the legs, and it normally pops out. Now, if it's a softer shell shrimp, then it may be a little harder. Get out of the bowl. But normally, that method works. Just trying to get everybody on a napkin because we need to then pat the top of them dry with a napkin and uh, a paper towel, whatever you want to call it. Honey. 
It's up to you what you use. You use napkins, you use paper towels. Y'all can watch me up here now. Okay. Like, it ain't his hands big. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Peeling, peeling. It's so much fun. Okay. Da, da, da. You got your little music going. This is an opportunity for the kids to help. <laughs> you know, give the kids the fun part. Peeling the shrimp, man. Peeling, peeling, peeling. All right. Almost done. Just a couple more. Three, to be exact. Two more. I can't fit everybody on this napkin, but I'm trying. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. I have no clue what this sound sounds like. I should have, like, tried that before I put this on. I just made sure that I saw the bar moving, honey. Okay. <laughs> and we just go keep on going. I didn't adjust anything, so if it sounds crappy, it's okay. We'll get it next time. All right. We finished peeling those. Rinse our hands off real quick. And uh, then we're going to cut up our vegetables. We're going to brown our chicken we're gonna do our roux y'all it's gonna go down and and we're gonna make it happen okay dry my hands off and then we'll pat those dry move them out of the way okay so fold that up cover those up just give them a little press getting that water off we're gonna move those over to a different counter okay maybe over here all right, so now we got our foil down. We need a cutting board and we need a cutting knife and some vegetables to cut up, okay? We got some celery. We're gonna also get some onions and some bell peppers and all those kind of things. Mm, that's a potato, honey. Yeah, sure. Okay, onion, celery, um, I already got garlic and it's in a jar and it's minced so we don't got to worry about that. Save yourself some steps, okay? All right, you need a knife. Let's just go ahead and get this done. And you might wanna have like a little bowl handy just to scoop everybody in. Once you finish, yeah? Easy transport over to the stove. Get my little scraper drink. Ow, don't close your finger in. Okay, bowl, scraper. All right. Let's get her done. We're gonna get like three of these little stalks of celery. They're not that big. I should do four. Let's do four, just to be, to have good measure, okay? I'm gonna cut these little ends off because they, they were pre-cut, so we don't want our ends like that. That will go in our trash. And I'll switch you over to the counter view. Come on over. Come on over, baby. Okay. Um, I think I want to run my knife down the middle of this friend here. And maybe this one here. Let's go for it. Just a little rough chop. Just going all the way down. I'll curve my fingers over so y'all won't talk about me. Okay. Mm-hmm. We got a few large ones. You just run your knife through it. It's okay. It's gonna get eight. It's gonna get eight. 
Okay. I'm going to scoop my knife. I'll scoop my little scooper so y'all won't talk about me. Esha Palante. Okay. Okay. That's celery. We got these little baby onions. So, I think I'm going to do maybe two, two of those shanks. They're so teeny. Give it a little peelage. Peel, peel. peel. You're right. Sometimes I don't want to peel like off that strong first layer. I just be wanting to take this off. I don't want to be wasteful. So let's just get her off, honey. Not be wasteful. I'm just going to run my knife down I don't want you get off get off y'all y'all had a good week so far can y'all believe it's Thursday okay and it's November <laughs> Come on, the fear. Come on, glory. Now this whole year, believe it or not, has flown by. Ooh, if you work fast, then you won't cry. <laughs> Ooh, but if you got multiple to go, honey, those tears will start. I'm going to do one more because these onions are really teeny. Okay. Keeping that little end on so it holds that onion together. We're just going to go with this layer right now because clearly, honey, ain't nobody got time for that. Do, 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 do. One. Let's go ahead and peel this one while she's waiting. Are you waiting, honey? Uh, all right. Here's a little baby onion. Teeny, teeny. enough for me all right so now we need to do our bell pepper I also have an jalapeno <laughs> a jalapeno that we will chop up as well we won't use the seeds because that's where all of the fire is but we want that flavor Cut that top off. We're gonna run our knife down the side and gently peel. And you're gonna, I'm gonna cut that little membrane out as best we can. Okay. Just going around. If you didn't get all of it the first go around, it's okay. And it's okay if you get a little seed in there. I don't want all these seeds in there. Okay? Don't want them. Hey, that's our jalapeno. Waiting for dinner, Isha. pepper this is how I cut my pepper you cut yours differently but this is how I cut mine so just remember that wherever you see a little divot 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 that's where the little rib is 
um, to the pepper, okay? Now, some people just cut right at that rib, but then they're being wasteful. What I do is I cut the top off, okay? As close to the top as you can get it. You know, some of these got the, the strong dips in it. You cut off the bottom as strong as you can. And then you go down one side, not in a rib, okay? And you take that and then you run your knife around the circle. Like so, like that, as Tab would say. Okay, just going all the way around. And what happens is you take that entire piece out, oh, glory, seeds and all, and you are left with the cavity. Come on, glory. Easiest way to prep that, that pepper. All right, throw that away. And then what happens is you can use the bottoms, because all I did was took that little cap out, the bottoms and the tops. You just cut them up with the rest. You're using more of the pepper than cutting it a different way. Okay? And you're just going to go in and if you don't like those little moments, you can just, you can just cut them out. All right? But if you're fine with it, then I'm fine with it, honey. Okay? You're going to go in. Dice these up. That onion got my nose running, honey. It's a blunty. You want to get a nice little stack. Curve my fingers over so y'all won't talk about me. I just be cutting to get her done. But I be making sure that my fingers out the way. Okay, Gloria, because I need those to, to play the piano with. Come on now. Ain't nobody got time to be losing fingers. Couple more, couple more dices. Y'all go ahead and bump that like and share button and subscribe button and the bell and all those things. Hello Instagram, hello Facebook, hello YouTube, all of you guys. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. Hey, go ahead and like that. Go ahead and share that. Okay, help me out. Like and share. Subscribe if you're on Face or YouTube. Okay. We're gonna put that over there. A couple more. We're gonna get these little end caps, the tops and the bottoms. Okay, I'm just gonna roughly run our knife through it. more pieces. It's okay. All right. Turn. All right. We are finished that prep, honey. Now, I'm gonna share some other things that I got off to the side, but what I really want to do is uh, get ready to get this roux going. So before we get our roux going, we want to uh, prep our chicken. We have some chicken thighs, okay? Because they're fatty, more fatty, and it holds that moisture a lot better. Um, we're gonna move this off to the side. So we have some zatarans. Let me get you in there. Uh, an andouille sausage. We have some chicken thighs and we have some shrimp that we've just prepped. Okay, I'm gonna cut up my andouille. All right. And then we're gonna cut up our chicken thighs. Let's get a couple of prep here. Okay, so these meal prep bowls are also help you in the kitchen keeping your prep organized, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up my little sausage. Let me get you over here to the sausage. All right, I got little peppers everywhere. 
I'm just gonna run my knife through it. You just want a smoked sausage, that's what you want. And do is great. Now this isn't like something you find in New Orleans. I found this in the store. <laughs> but if you have access to some good andouille sausage, then go ahead and use that. Okay, that was the sausage. I put it in the bowl over here. We have some chicken thighs that are right here. Okay, we did our vegetables first so that we can then go to our meat and not uh, have to worry about switching over boards. But we have a board standing by just in case. This is um, bone in chicken thighs with the skin on. We just need to go into these lovely pieces and take that bone out and then, and then dice them up, okay? So we want to get access to that bone, clearing your way. You see it right there and it runs all the way over. You want a nice sharp knife. You just wanna scrape against the bone Scrape against the bone, releasing that flesh from the bone. That's all. Very sharp knife to help you do that. And then it starts to release itself. I'm just scraping against the bone, right against the bone. You can hear it. <laughs> all right. Go underneath, release it the rest of the way. Just come on down the bone. Boom, boom, boom. Take that bone off of there. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. And you can toss that. That's one. We have three more to do. Okay? So you want to release right where that bone lies with your knife. And then you're just pulling back that meat and rubbing against the bone at the same time with your knife. Okay? You want to just take that out. Now, if you found some gold, found some that have been deboned already, good job. But if you want to do the prep work, help yourself. You know that it's, it's what you want it to be because you did it. Right? Okay. Let's just finish this. Finish this off, finish it off. Y'all doing okay? Did you vote, honey? Congratulations if you did. We'll take that gristle out that I left on there. Okay, gristle, bye. That's number two. I want to fill a little bone piece right there. Let's cut that off. There we go. I want that surprise later. All right. Down the bone, down the bone. Either side. Pulling the meat back. As you go. I know I'm hiding it with the camera in my arm. I'm right handed, so I apologize. Once you get far enough in there, then you can go underneath the bone and just scrape it the rest of the way. Your sharp knife will knife knife. I keep saying nice. Your sharp knife will knife will help release it. I keep saying it nice. <laughs> right. Last one. Then we'll uh, chop them up. Get them in the pan. Get them uh, some color on it real quick. And then we'll start our roux. It is now 7.30. Put your knife underneath there. Go upward, moving your hand out the way, honey. Okay. There we go. Chicken thighs released from the bone. Dun, dun, dun. I am not a professional, so don't judge my life. This is just me cooking, honey. And at the end of the day, it's all going to get ate. All right? So now that you have your chicken, you just want to go through it. I'm leaving the skin on. 
Okay. I feel like that's gonna be a bad idea. Um, but we're gonna we're just gonna do that because ain't nobody got time to go through. Okay. Um, and I'll probably get flack about that, but it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna make try to make uniform pieces. I got my little bowl over to the side, ready for it. And so if some of the fat comes off and the skin comes off, you don't got to worry about it. Look at God. All right, I'm just gonna peel it off. I'm just gonna peel it off, y'all. Just because, just because. We got it off to the side. You can make some crispy um, chicken thigh skins if you want. Get her done. That's all I can say. Well, thank you, Charlene. I tried to debone it nicely. <laughs> I tried. Okay. Get that skin out of the way. Oh, I don't mean to make y'all nervous with my knife. It's okay. I got it. I see it. My fingers ain't going nowhere. I got to play on Sunday. Come on, glory. Okay. Okay, my little mat is sliding because I didn't put my, my paper towel underneath there. If you don't want your mat to slide, just put a little paper towel underneath there and it won't slide. Okay, but I'm making myself work harder because I didn't put it underneath there. As y'all can see, my knife isn't like as super sharp as I want it. Take the skin off, off to the side, off to the side, honey. So you want to try to get yourself uniform pieces of chicken, uniform pieces, uniform cubes. Remember, this is chicken thighs. It has more fat in it. It helps it to stay juicy the entire time. That's why I like a thigh. You know, you get that good old ginormous piece of breast and it'd be the driest thing in the bucket. Okay? <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for dry chicken with no gravy. Okay? Now, I will say, shout out to Atkins Chicken because Atkins Chicken, sometimes they be having the juiciest piece of Atkins Chicken in Charles City. Come on, glory. The juiciest piece of uh, chicken breasts because they uh they put it in a brine honey okay brining your chicken will bless your life this uh piece has a little gristle on it let me pull this skin off release release let me get that gristle right there Okay, boom. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna multitask real quick just because Mr. Jones is really hungry, okay? I'm gonna rinse my hands off before I touch my mouth because I just was in this, this chicken. I'm gonna sit this off to the side, All right? Please hug. Rinsing my hands off. As you can hear, nice soapy moment. Alright, so now we can we can get her done. Alright, come on up. Come on up to Bright Glory. I'm, you can you can talk to me for a second up here. Hello. Da, 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 da. All right, go ahead, real real quick, y'all. Um, while we have this pause, go ahead and uh, push that like and share button. Go ahead and host the watch party. All those lovely things help me grow. Okay. Mm -hmm. You sure can help yourself because I was about to open one too, girl. I'm famished. Mm hmm. 
All right, so we have our chicken thighs, we have our andouille sausage, and then we have some things over here. Um, let me see if I can get you there. Um, off to the side. So we have, um, we have some okra, we have our vegetables that we cut up, we have some um, diced um, tomatoes. Um, we have a lovely pot. <laughs> And we have some uh, some pans over here. We're gonna put our pot over here for a second. We're gonna put our pan over here so we can do this while we're doing our root. Now the thing is, we're doing this at the same time because I'm hungry. Okay, we got this pot in the back for um, for uh, for rice. Okay, but for right now, we're gonna start this entire process. And I want you to see that I'm using what I'm sharing with you. Okay, so we're gonna get our roux on. We're gonna turn that to a nice, a nice good temperature so that it won't burn, but brown and we can focus on that and uh, browning our meats at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna put a cup of flour in this, uh, in this pot right here. Okay, the pot is off y'all. That's why I can sit everything in here. Okay, y'all know flour and out of the bag is the, the, the dustiest thing you can do. Okay, ish. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Might be a, a cup and some. Okay, but we got a cup of flour. There it is, there it is. Into this pot. And that is a lot of flour, honey. I think I should have did a half a cup just because I'm not making that much. But uh, we're going to go with a cup. And we're going to turn that on. And then what we're going to do is to that, we're going to add a cup of oil, a cup of fat. Okay, and we're just going to use our olive oil that we have. And to make this roux, you want equal parts. That's why I'm measuring it out. Equal parts, fat and flour. All right, took that off to the side. And we're gonna wipe that little surface down because it's gonna drive me crazy. We're gonna get our whisk as well because you need that. I'm gonna incorporate that flour into that oil. Help with that lump factor. So you want a nice smooth roux. A whisk will help your life with that. As you can see, this is a nice uh, fluid uh, moment here. Okay, nice and fluid. Okay, and we're gonna put this on and uh, let that go until it starts to brown. Now you don't wanna walk away from this. That's why we're multitasking right now, um, side by side. Okay, so I can whisk this continuously and I can uh, vary the temperature, um, making sure that it doesn't brown, um, burn, but brown, okay? And into this pan, we're gonna put just a little bit of oil, a little, a little olive oil in there. So we're gonna turn this on and just brown off our andouille. And then we're gonna brown off our, so uh, our thighs in the same pan, okay? So let's get her done. The pan's gonna warm through. I'm gonna wipe up this flour. Okay, yes. These moments can, uh, these whisks and paddles, honey. This is a dual, uh, dual stove, so a uh, dual eye, so I have to watch this one, all right? All right, we're gonna get 
this fat in the bottom of this pan. This is Owen almost high. Okay. And again, we're just gonna brown these uh, sausages off. Okay, and then we're gonna do our chicken. Um, and we're, we're gonna make it happen. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. Now, I don't want nobody to bust my chops because I'm calling this a polite gumbo because I am going to eat this sooner than later, okay? And I know this is supposed to cook for some time and we can con allow it to continue to cook, but I'm gonna get my portion out there, okay? I am, and I'm gonna eat it. It's a lunch. Okay. The pan is warming up. The pan is warming up. All right, I'm gonna drop my sausages in there. Try to get an even layer and let those brown. best we can, rendering some of that fat out of there. All right, so our roux is bubbling. We just want to make sure that we don't cook it too fast, but it needs to brown, 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 brown. Meet the brown, cooking with the brown, okay? The higher the temperature, the faster it will brown, all right? Give these a little moment. Okay. Dump that up. Get them right on that pan, honey. We'll give you that brown moment. Browning. Okay. And you just want to constantly move that roux around in the pan. Now this is really hot, so don't move it too fast and splatter it on you. Okay, we don't want to do that. All right. And our sausage is getting a nice brownage. Let me show you one. Let me show you a flat one because I don't want it to fall off. Yes, for the brownage. Okay. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. And again, this is the Zatarain's Andouille Sausage. I think this is to the moment that I like. Because it's going to go into the thing as well. So we're going to just take that out, put it back in the bowl that it was in, okay? Or maybe one at a time. <laughs> or how about we just pick it up? Hey, release. 
this one for myself. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Okay, same pan. Don't forget your roux off to the side. Starting to change a little bit. Okay. Circular motions with your whisk. We're gonna put a little oil in there, a little bit more oil. drop our chicken thighs. We didn't put any seasoning on these, but we'll do it in the pan, in the pan. This pan is nice and warm. Okay. Drop them in. We're trying not to use a lot of salt. Our roux is doing well. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. We don't want it to burn. a little uh, black pepper. I also want to add a little smoked paprika to this. Can y'all notice that I um, use kind of the same spices? Yeah. Don't forget about your roux. Give that a turn. You just want to keep on going until you get a nice chocolatey color that, that's in the pan. You don't want it to burn though. Okay. And I'm, oh, there we go. Let's use this. This little pie. This little pot um, really does not have any soft handles on it. This whole bowl is going to burn you. Pot going to burn you. Okay. That's what it looks like if you can't see. It's starting to thicken up a little bit. with two hands. Okay, I'm gonna push this off to the side. Okay, trying not to burn plastic. 
extra. I'm gonna turn that off. No, I'm gonna switch eyes. I'm gonna turn this over. Move this over here. No! Extra. And move this over here. That's what that roux looks like. So now what we're gonna do, this is off. We're gonna drop our vegetables in. And this is not with the garlic. This is just the celery, onions, bell peppers, and jalapeno. And we're gonna cook that in the roux. Get that in the room. And just let that go for a minute. This is on now medium. This is on medium. Just so that those peppers and onions and celery can cook through a little bit. To this. We're gonna add just a little bit of salt, okay? Looks dark, but it's not, okay? Just a little bit, not a lot. Just to help those vegetables sweat down, okay? This chicken is on this warm eye. That's why it's continuing to cook. Don't lose any of that, that moment. So what we're gonna do, is this is not all the way cooked, but it's fairly decent. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of stock in the bottom of this to deglaze. Okay, so let's do that. Um, and I have a low sodium uh, chicken broth. I didn't, couldn't find any uh, seafood. A little sodium chicken, just a little bit in the bottom of the pan to deglaze that jank, getting all those little bits off. Okay, and just circular motions with your little paddle. Come on, glory, scraping that bit off, deglazing the bottom of the pan. Now, all of that goodness is going to go into this pot later. Okay, I'm going to put this on my hand so that I can hold this pot. Okay. I'm just cooking these through. paying attention are you are you there with me are you making it yeah okay again I'm Mike Jones welcome to my home um, we're making gumbo gumbo in the pot okay we're gonna make some gumbo tonight we're doing pretty good again my disclaimer is I am going to cook this I know that when you make a, um, a gumbo it's supposed to cook for hours I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna let it simmer for a little bit, and then I'm gonna taste it, and then I'm gonna eat it, cause I'm hungry, and I'm gonna let the rest just continue to cook. Okay, this is my polite gumbo. I'm just saying, all right? Let's refresh this one. Woo, glory. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. All right, so let's check on these little vegetables. C come on back over. Let me. I got you. I'm going. I'm going to carry you over there. There we go. This is just cooking through. Getting all of that moved in and around and loved on. Okay. So now what I'm going to do now that I've let this cook through a little bit. Up a couple of those moments. I have a, a can 
of stewed tomatoes. This is a large can, not stewed tomatoes, but diced tomatoes in the can. Boom, 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 like that. I'm just gonna add that in there. Now, just wanna incorporate. Yeah. And then to that, we're gonna add our garlic. And just gonna do a nice dollop of minced garlic. That's a nice, nice dollop of minced garlic. Okay, maybe a little bit more. Get that incorporated. What happened to my, let's just use this one. Oh, and I put the garlic in at this point because garlic has a higher smoking point, it will burn. So now we're gonna add in our chicken stock. Don't worry, I got another one coming. Just need to incorporate that one first. Okay, let's go again with another. Low sodium, because you want to control the salt. Two of those chips. Got another one on standby, just in case. Okay, we're going to let that just come up. I'm gonna get our sides. Get your edges, get your edges. And you just wanna paddle that back and forth, making sure that you dissolve all of that roux into that broth. Okay, now this is the moment where we can start to let some things work. So we're gonna let this simmer. I'm gonna bring this up, let that come up to a simmer. But this is also a moment where I want to see what it tastes like and see where I wanna go with it, okay? We didn't add much flavor, not much at all. Sorry for the loudness. Need a big spoon for this moment. I need to see where we are with our roux and our broth. Remember this is, you know, store broth, broth, low sodium. So we wanna see how much salt is in here. Then we'll adjust, okay? Just making sure that we mix it all in. Okay, make sure you mix it all in. Try to get you a good little angle here. We're just gonna taste a little bit. This is my this is my taster. Okay, not bad, not bad with the salt moment. Okay, so this is where we're gonna add flavor. We got some black pepper. Maybe a little bit more. This is where we're gonna add a nice little pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. Okay, also to this, we're gonna add a little Creole seasoning. Now just be mindful that that's a salty moment. So we're gonna put some in there. That's why we're controlling our salt. Not too much, but a nice sprinkle, okay? And then also we have some concentrated Zataran shrimp and uh, crab boil. Um, we're gonna put a little bit of, of that in there. 
Now, what you want to do is taste all of your seasonings if, you're, if it's new to you, so you know how much to put in there, okay? I'm gonna taste this. Very spicy. Okay, so we're just gonna do a little bit of that. Very spicy. This is how much I'm gonna put in there. That much. Not much, but it's very spicy. If I need to come back with more, then I will. Because we got black pepper in there as well. Okay, and that's what that is. Zataran shrimp boil, shrimp and crab boil. Let that go for a minute. taste it <laughs> again I want to taste it all the way through make sure that we're doing pretty good okay that took it somewhere come on glory also to this no nope, that's not what we want we want some time I know we got some honey There we go, right in front. We got some thyme, some dry thyme. Nice helping of that. Okay. I'm gonna put a little uh, turmeric in here. Okay. And then we have Two bay leaves. Incorporate. Circular motions on the bottom of your pan. Remember, this is gonna thicken, so you don't want something to burn on the bottom of your pan, okay? Okay, we just added flavor. We incorporated. Now we're gonna taste, yeah? Every time your spoon, every time you add something, your your um, your broth should change in its in its appearance. Now we got some flakes in there, we got some colorage, we got some something in there. Mm. We got it in our palm now. Okay, this is coming along, Jesus. Yes, Holy Ghost. Okay. Ba boom 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 let's get this up to a boil i'm gonna turn this on high for a second let's get it up and then we'll turn it down once we get it incorporated okay i'm gonna get this up to a boil then we're gonna add our meats in and then we're gonna turn it down okay let me while we're waiting toss these things okay i feel like i want a little bit more garlic in there just because I like garlic. And I think I want a, a, a sprinkle more of this uh, Tony's Creole seasoning. So a sprinkle bit, a little bit of more of that. Come on, Michael. Get your lips together. And a little pat more of um, garlic. Ooh. 
because you know my life story and because it makes everything super delicious, we're going to drop a whole stick of butter in here. Yeah. Let that go. Where's my big spoon? Here we go. Okay. That butter will take a short time to melt away. Just give it a moment. Start to shine everything. Okay, don't worry. That's what the butter's there for. That extra fat to help you out. Yeah. Incorporate that seasoning that you put in on top. Look at that, Jesus. That looks delicious. Y'all with me? Did you like and share this video? Come on, glory. All right. So I think we're we're almost there. Once this butter comes, um, once this butter finishes melting, then I'm gonna add my chicken and my andouille in there. Okay, we have a nice little bubblage going. It's the point where I want it to be. This is the way I make it. Don't judge my life. Da 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 da. da. All right. We're gonna add, because we got our last, but be gentle. Be gentle. All of that juice and all of that chicken, because we deglazed that pan. Come on, Glory. Chicken in. And do we sausage in? Turn it back down to medium, med let's do medium high. All right, move this out of the way. You still with me? We're gonna get a non-stick pan really quickly because what we want to help the okra do is not be as slimy. So we're gonna put a non-stick pan on the eye. We're gonna get a little olive oil in that pan. Okay, a little olive oil. I'm gonna put the top on this. Let this go for a minute. Put the top on it and let it just go, honey. This pot is ginormous. Okay. We're warming this pan up. Non-stick, olive oil. Okay. Da, da, da. Almost there. Wipe off my surface. All right, to our pan that's warming up. We're getting there. I'm just gonna drop in. This is this was canned. Okay, I just drained the water off of it. I'm just gonna put it in here. And, and cook that up a little bit. I'm 
also going to add a little of my Montreal season, just a sprinkle on top of that. Because we want to season our layers. This is a layer. Okay. We also got a little Cajun seasoning from uh, McCormick Perfect Pinch. Okay, just a little sprinkle of that. We can get her moving around. Not too much. Gonna stir this around. Ooh, hello, honey. That smells delicious, y'all. Okay. Um, let me see if I got it. Uh oh, I think I do. Oh, I might not though. <laughs> um, I was going to add a little uh, saffron in there because I was going to add, because we we're going to add shrimp. Okay, that would help it. This okra smells good. Do I got, oh yes we do. Yes, we do, honey. All right. We have a roaring bubble here. Yes. So what we're gonna do, bring that down. We're gonna, now that this has gone for a couple of minutes, just going through, we're gonna taste this again before we add our shrimp, okay? This is hot. It's hot. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Glory. Every time you pick up your spoon, it should look a little different. Okay. This is what it looks like now. Okay. Can, you, can I get you in there? Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. That tastes really good. Okay. We're gonna turn that off. I'm gonna put just a drop of, drop more of, I don't that pan is hot. <laughs> that little edge. A drop more of this um, shrimp and crab boil uh, liquid, liquid portion. It's spicy, so be careful. All right, I'm going to add that in. Maybe a pinch more salt. Okay. Incorporate. And what we're going to do is politely add our shrimp in. Okay, and just been sitting off to the side, waiting their turn, drying in the paper towel. Woo, Jesus! Back up. Can't use that, friend. Okay, here's the others. <laughs> just drop them in, drop them in. Drop them in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. And give that a little toss. You want to skim off the top, all that fat in there. You want to skim that off. 
my okra is turned off in a minute. Once I skim that fat off, then I'll add my okra in. Okay? I got my little bowl. It's a lot of fat on there. So just take it off. Just sit your, your spoon down slowly. That fat will come right onto that spoon. That's going to take forever, so let's get a bigger one. <laughs> okay? Just gentle, right at the edge. That fat will come right on in there. And this is just a nice little gentle moment. Just be gentle. Okay. I'm just letting that that fat fall right into that spoon. I'm not doing anything but sitting it there on the edge, pushing my tip down until it starts to flow in. Oops, go down too fast, it goes in a little faster. You wanna do that until you get all of the fat off. You wanna move to a different spot, you can. Hey, glory. Okay, almost there. Got a nice thick layer. <laughs> Don't want all that fat on there. I'm just skimming that off the top. Almost there, guys. A little bit more, a little bit more. Just going around the edge. I'll turn this off. I forgot that shrimp in there. I don't need to boil that much. Put that right back in there. Y'all, did y'all see that moment? I'm sorry. Okay. This has been going for a second. I'm actually gonna put this on a little bit past medium so I can simmer while I make my rice. Okay? This is all the okra in the pan. Help with that slime moment. Okay? Drop it in. Move it around. Oh my stars, oh my word, Jesus. Look at that, that's very hearty. Hearty, have a party. Okay, let's make some rice real quick. I wanna taste that, let me show you how much fat came off of there. Okay, let me show you. So this is, whoop, 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 whoop. This is how much fat came off of there, honey. Yes, that's a lot, ooh, that's a lot of fat that we skimmed off the top. Put that back down, okay. We wanna taste this, make sure that we're at our flavor profile that we want. We wanna taste toast, a little bit of rice as well. Let's taste this. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Mm. Mm. Mm. Mm. Okay. That's delicious. We're gonna put a little bit more salt in there. Just a little bit. That's good. A little bit more salt. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of onion powder and a little bit of garlic powder just to help it out. to pull all those flavors just a flavor booster that's what all that's all accent is a flavor booster because we're moving this along a little faster than normal and then we have a little liquid smoke a little liquid just a pinch pinch of that that was just a pinch a little pinch of that okay and then we're gonna move that around let that continue to simmer. We're gonna turn this on high. We're gonna put a little oil down in there. We're gonna to toast a little bit of our, we're gonna do a cup of rice, half a cup, um, toasted a half a cup, untoasted. Let's taste this with those additions. Mm-hmm. Mm, Jesus. Okay, a little olive oil in the pan. So we just got some jasmati rice. Jasmati. It's just jasmine rice, y'all. Come on, Jesus. Okay. And just so I can show you that I'm doing a cup, let me put this top on here so this can simmer. Oh, we gotta put the uh, saffron in there too. Um, can I show you that it's a, a cup? Yes, I can. All right. Half a cup of that. The rest will go in in a minute. Coat it with the oil. Coat it with the oil. And then it'll start to cook and it'll start to smell like popcorn. That's what you want. It'll start to smell like popcorn. It'll start to toast a little bit. Don't let it burn. Keep it moving. Then add your other rice and add your liquid. Now, this type of rice calls for one cup of rice equals one and one half cup half cups of water uh, 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 we're gonna do um, chicken broth just so that we we keep it uh, flavor flavor town okay we're gonna keep it flavor town Isha. so toasting the rice moving it around just swirl it around you'll start to see that it'll go like almost translucent lucent It'll get real glossy, then it'll start to turn super white, and then it'll start to brown. So those are the stages. Okay, so you'll go from, from this moment that looks like almost, I don't know if you can see that, almost uh, white, but almost translucent. It's like that, and then it'll get shiny. Okay, focus in. No, I gotta, I gotta focus. Then it'll get shiny. Hold on. Let me show you. Where are you? Then it'll get shiny. And then it'll turn super white. Okay, let me focus the camera back. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Out of focus. You're out of focus. All right. And all we're doing is just swirling it around. Swirling it around in that pan. You'll start to see some brownage, okay? I don't know if y'all can see down in there, but it's some brownage in there. Give it a second. Mm -hmm. 
because we're on high, you just want to not walk away from this, okay? Because that will brown really fast. So let it sit on there for a moment and then move it around, sit, move it around, sit, move it around, and then you'll get that toasted moment. But all I'm doing is just swirling my little sauce pot and moving that, and then you'll start to see that the whole batch will start to brown up a little bit more, a little bit more, okay? Some more than others, that's fine. Now all of this, most, most all of these are Nice, a nice bright white and they're starting to tan a little bit. It starts starting to smell like popcorn. Yeah. That's the moment that we want. Okay. So now all of this is white. Okay, let me get you in there. All of that is white. Once all of those individual jinks of rice are white, I'm going to add the rest of my rice, okay, yeah, I'm getting rice everywhere, okay, incorporate, I'm just mixing the new with the old, mixing the new with the old, and then we have some chicken broth again. Okay, and this is again calling for a cup and a half. So this is my first cup. Chicken broth, low sodium. And then my half a cup here. Yam, here. Okay, let it, let it come to this little moment. It's gonna sound like it's doing something crazy. Okay. Let it do that moment. Give it a little polite shake. Once it boils a little bit, you can add your salt in. Turn it off. I'm gonna add a little onion powder in mine, just a little bit. And I'm also gonna do my parsley trick where I do the dry parsley in the palm of the hand, like so. A little dry parsley. And then we're just gonna rub that together, make a powder, and let it fall down in there. Give it a swirl. And then put the top on it. Leave it on the eye, but the eye is off. Just let it go, okay? Just shaking it here and there. But it's gonna do its own little thing right now, okay? And then once it finishes, without lifting the lid, without touching it, gonna be perfect okay let's check on this lovely little friend over here because we're at our hour and 30 minute mark guys we're gonna taste this it's a lot of okra in there okay Ish. okay we got andouille sausage chicken thighs and shrimp with uh, the holy trinity uh, celery onion and bell pepper and then we have the uh the garlic which is everyone's friend we've got a couple of bay leaves in there some thyme we use the shrimp and crab oil liquid portion um we used uh some tony's creole seasoning salt and pepper just mixing everybody up making sure everybody's good we're just going to taste this. Mm. That's so delicious. Oh my goodness, that's so good, y'all. All we're doing is just shaking this around. Making sure our friend is moving that rice around. All right, so we are finished with that moment. So now it's time to uh, do our prep for presentation. Isha, okay. Dripping. 
Okay, so let's get our prep going. We need a couple bowls, I should think. Move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. Uh huh, uh huh, like so, like that. Just a little cleanup moment while we get in our things. I'm going to get two bowls. Two bowls. Talk amongst yourselves, children of the corn. Ish. We need some wide bowls, though. So let me dig deep. Sorry for all the rattling. Come on, Glory. Plate, bowl, <laughs> plate, bowl. All right. Put that out of there. Put that over there. Oh, this is a moment. I need to add this in right now. While well, I'm thinking about it, this is the saffron. Okay, so let's go over here. Lift that up until you're ready to present. Okay. We're going to drop in a nice portion of saffron. So we got that shrimp in there. Just going to give it a little flavor. It's like, mm, okay. Doing something a little bit something, a little something, something. Put the rest of that in there. Top that up. Look at that <laughs> gumbo, gumbo in the pot. Yes, sir. Okay, now that we added that, get it off my hand. Let's give it a stir. We're gonna turn this off and we're gonna taste it. We've thickened. Yeah, hey, I see you, I see you, Saffron. Boom, <laughs> name my son Saffron. Hey, Saffron, come here, huh? Yeah, sure. Give it a taste. Mm. It's hot, Jesus. Mm, but it's good, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. It's time to present. Can I show y'all this rice? I just lifted the lid up. But there it is. It's perfect. Okay, so then all you need to do, all you need to do with your perfect rice is just fork it. Look at that. Ooh, Jesus. Just fork it. Forget. That's perfect. And you get this beautiful color because of the toastedness of it all. Mm -hmm. Put the top back on it, let it finish steaming a little bit. So what we're gonna do presentation wise is this little thing right here. We're just gonna get a, a scoop. Let me make sure that this is uh, done, done. Mm. Mm -hmm. Give it a nice pat down. Get it in there. Hot. Get hot. And then come on over here into our bowls. We're just gonna plop it off to the side. Do that twice if you got two bowls. 
pressing it down gets it sticking on top of one another, loving on one another so that it holds the shape. Just press it down a little bit. Okay. And just toss it over to the side. Look at that. Presentation already good, honey. All right. And then we're going to come in with a lovely ladle. A lovely ladle, honey, of this gumbo. Okay. I'm calling it polite, a polite gumbo because this hasn't cooked for hours. It's just cooked enough for me to eat it right now. <laughs> okay, let me get a little thing to put this on, okay? Because this pot is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Handles and all. I'm gonna bring this over here. Hello, gumbo. Cleaning off my little surface here. All right, and then we're just, we have a nice ladle. Hey, make sure you get everybody in the party, honey, in that one ladle. Got a lot of spillage in it. Okay, ooh. Go on around, go on around. I was trying to make it nice and neat, but that spillage, honey. Presentation is everything. Presentation is everything. Yes. I think we need a, just a little bit more in there. Come on around, come on around. And then you got your, your toppings. Toppings a bag. Feed the birds. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> All right, let's do this one. Make sure everybody's in there. Come on, Glory. Yes. Come on, Nolans. And because we're doing presentation, let me move this out of the way. Okay, we're going to cut up a little, little green onion, a little love. A little, little green onion um, to just garnish with. Okay, so move this out the way. Move that out the way. We have green onion, and y'all, my green onion is in. When I brought it, I just put a little, um, little water in the glass. Oh. Put the root down in there. They're standing up nice and tall. Brought them back to life a little bit. Okay. Just real quick, just a little, a little green onion. This one's ugly. Let's do this one, honey. I like this one. A little bit better. with a little green onion. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Yeah, we done. It's really time to eat. Mm -hmm. Let's do our delivery. <laughs> Let's do our delivery first. Um, I think I need to take a presentation picture. Can we take a presentation picture? I think we should. Let's see if we can get her done. Let's see if we can get a little presentation on here. Y'all, we made it through. Not now. We've made it. We've made it. Hey, let's get to a camera. Oh, my goodness. It looks so good. Presentation. Da, 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 da. Center of the bowl, center of the plate. Da, 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 da. 
Okay, we got it. Let's deliver. It looks like good. Oh, I'll feed it to y'all. I'm going into it right now. Okay. Here we go, Marsh, young girl. You waiting for it? I hope it tastes good, girl. Oh, I gotta cut the light on too so you can see it. Oh, Jesus. Come on for the gumbo, gumbo in the pot. Yes, yeah. Y'all, I'm gonna eat in front of y'all. I hope you don't mind. Let me refresh my drink real quick, though. Please hold. Yes, yeah. Oh, glory. Here we go. Masha, just yell when you think it's good. Okay, here we go. Let me, can I get y'all in it real quick? Get in it, get in it. Get in it. Yes, yeah. Did y'all like and share this video? I hope y'all did. Let's have a moment real quick before we like and share this video. Subscribe. I just made some gumbo. Let's eat it. Because I'm hungry. This is the first thing I've eaten all day, and I'm ready for it, honey. Ooh, I'm ready. Mm. Marsha? What's the verdict, girl? I don't think she can hear me, but I know it's good to me. Mm. It's good. <laughs> Praise the Lord, honey. Oh, yes. Just mix that rice right on in there, honey. You got a little okra. You got andouille sausage. You got chicken. You got a little shrimp. You got tomato tomatoes. I got the whole farm right here. Onion, celery, garlic. He made a lovely roux. Come on, Glory. Mm. Oh, I can taste the garlic. Oh, it's so good. Get a piece of chicken. Oh, y'all, it's so good. Glory. Come on, Glory. Mm-hmm. The chicken nice and tender because it's thighs it didn't dry up that felt held on that felt the fat held on come on glory just mix that rice in just eat it just eat it Okay, y'all, I'm done. Da, da, da. I'm going to enjoy my dinner. Is it good, Marsha? Ma, huh? Is it good, girl? Yeah, it's good. Praise the Lord. Okay, I love your bushel and the peck, y'all. And guess what? Maybe a hug about your neck. Come on. Um, hopefully that you voted. We're waiting for the results. Stand firm. Okay, quick look at this quick cleanup. Hey, quick cleanup because we put our foil down. The counter is clean. We just want to dry it off because it's a little damp under there. Okay, y'all, we did that. Yes, we did. We got a lovely whole, whole pot of gumbo. All right, I'm going to put the top on it. Mm -hmm. I might need another ladle of that junk. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. I love y'all bushel in the puck. Y'all have a great evening. This will be a great dish to cook for your family. Um, I probably will see y'all next Thursday. If the Lord is sparing in the creek, don't rise. Okay. Come on, glory. Y'all have a great, a great day. Get a little, get a little closer, Tundra. Y'all, it's so good. It's so good. 
I'm not even lying. It's so good. I'm going to enjoy my dinner. Y'all, take care. Enjoy your day. Bye.